you know what I mean? The boys are in the best spirits of the race. Echo is so happy right now. It's insane. They're so happy. What a difference 24 hours makes, man. Absolutely crazy. Like, they, they could not be happier right now. <sighs> Do you have fiber parts together? Just poor ventilation? It's just a closed-off room. Uh, yeah, there's... There's just, like... There's no ventilation, and if they close the door, I'm just sealed in, like, a, an oven. <laughs> That's it. Was there a bad mood yesterday? No, not at all, because... Because Liquid went and turned off their uh, streams, their guys were just playing their own game, and they were super happy. It went in the opposite direction. It was, like, a good thing that Liquid turned off their streams, uh, and it was even better when we found out that, like, they hadn't really progged. Like... They, they, there was literally screams and cheers across the in the in the studio. Like uh, they were hyping each other up and like whacking each other. You know what I mean? Very happy today. Very happy. What Echo needs to do today is see Phase Three, and they've got fifteen hours to do it. Fifteen hours to see Phase Three. That's their goal for today is to see Phase Three. Uh, like if they get there, they'll be so freaking happy. It was it was uh, it was an awesome. F Everybody was on the highest spirits imaginable uh, yesterday. It was amazing. Why is Roger a mage? He's outside. He's not actually playing. He's observing Jinji. who's playing mage. He's helping coordinate the strategies and things like that. Uh, is what he's doing. Yeah, wacky touring on the back. Come on. A little bit of physical presence was going on. Yeah, it was all good, man. It was all good. Right, we're f uh, so I didn't continue at all from where we stopped yesterday when the internet in the studio died. Uh, so we're exactly where we should be, which is all good. I didn't do anything. I literally stopped as soon as we could. And we are in a dungeon where melee screws us up. So we'll guard one turn. We'll jump this one. We'll use our wind magic on these two. And we'll try and... Oh, we're running out of mana. Great. Okay. Yeah, I kept. Pl I, I probably played for like a minute before I realized the internet had gone off because uh, my OBS said we were still live. And then I saw a stream of Fs and I was like, uh oh. What's happened? <laughs> What's happened? And then then uh, I saw a flurry of activity outside my door. And then it became very apparent that, uh, yeah, the internet was off in the whole building. And then the biggest nightmare of all, of course. The hot chocolate machine ran dry. But we resolved it, dudes. We got we got past it. Oh, it was true despair. I think this one doesn't divide. I think this one at the back doesn't divide. Because I melleed it with uh, the white mage and it didn't do anything. Bro, it was such a priority to fix the Chalky machine. Like, e even Scripe getting involved with fixing the Chalky machine. <laughs> it was weird. Like, everybody was like, out in full force to fix the Chalky machine. Oh, don't divide. Oh, thank God. Okay, she has more internet issues. Not today, no. Um, Grim, who's our IT specialist, uh, said this happened last week. I think we were doing splits or something, so nobody cared. Um, so he believes that they do some sort of uh, maintenance at that exact time every week, and it fucks up the internet. Nobody really complains in the general populace because it's down for like 10 minutes or whatever. So nobody cares. Oh, no. Well, uh, the way Grim explained it to me is this ISP goes through like a third party or something. There's some weird system they have in place. It, like, doesn't go straight to the main ISP. I don't know. Some nonsense. I do... I, it was funny when Roger Brown was the only one taking the doubt, the, the outage seriously. <laughs> Nobody else was. We were all stood around chit-chatting and having fun. Uh, and Roger running around saying, Right, I need you... Uh, I need somebody to go to the supermarket and buy a bunch of high-speed USB-C cables so we can all use our phones for internet. That was kind of funny. 
had to respect the play. Uh, it's probably my defense for now. Yeah, the whole place falls apart if there's no Chucky. The man with the plan, exactly. I'm so happy we can melee these now. That was the plan. Let's just use our phones for internet. I was like, okay, you can use my phone. Mine's got pure 5G. And then we were like, can we not just use the wireless? Can we go? Because I know a lot of people play on wireless. Like, it's fine with a 5G connection. Am I going backwards? Ah, I got distracted. That emo. I, I couldn't let Alex take, like, the brunt of all the harassment for that emo. The sad thing is, Alex did it purely because he wanted cake. He didn't even consider the repercussions of doing what he did. And, of course, you know, Chris made that emo. Chris, Chris was very on the case with that. Of like, well, this is a thing now. Oh, he was a great sport about it. I mean, we raised so much money for people. Like, a silly... Like, we give a shit. I mean, obviously, I don't care about looking goofy on the internet. It's whatever. But, um... I was like, God, it's been so long since you streamed. You don't know what the streamer meta is now. If there is even a chance they're going to get a goofy picture of you, it's going to happen. I think I made a plan, though, because obviously I saw that that chalky cake looked like a shit. Chest down here. Uh, so I, I already had in my mind I was going to say, Alex, it looks like you're eating shit. Uh, but I, I held it because I was really hoping... I was genuinely hoping, with all my heart, that he would spit it out all over the room. I was hoping so hard that that would happen. So I held and held and held all the way until he had it right in his mouth. And that's when I went, not going to lie, Alex. Kind of looks like you're eating shit. Because I knew he was going to laugh. And I was so desperately hoping he would spit cake everywhere on stream. Oh, it would have been the best. Oh no! Emma died. F. Oh no, we don't do enough damage. Sh shit. Uh. Oh, you guys. Uh, whoever it was, I don't know if you're here right now. Who got them to do the TTS that said clown at the end? Screw you, man. Like, screw you, really. I was, I was dead by that point. I was like, I can't deal with this. I absolutely can't deal with it. Like, they actually played a TTS and it just went clown. That was you, Chris? Yeah. Oh, you don't do enough damage? Oh my god, it's because you're in the back row, isn't it? Okay, kill, 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 kill. 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 Alex's Roger accent? I really like that. Whose cast was it anyway? They didn't tell us anything, by the way. That was entirely unscripted. They just said, sit on the couch. Jesse will tell you what... To, uh, Jesse will tell you stuff. Just uh, do whatever comes to mind. A Genji shield. Okay. Poor Krista. <laughs> yeah. After she's like, what the hell, man? Am I going to win the Grand Prix? I have no idea what it is. So, yep. I have no idea what the gauntlet is that they keep having in red every year. I don't know what that is. Which is, I prefer it that way, as you know. I, I prefer the surprise. 
Yeah, I don't know what the gauntlet is, but more importantly, I think because of what you guys did yesterday, I think we're literally like two grand away from breaking 200k or something. So, uh, I I I, I gotta believe that's gonna happen at some point during this race. So, that's gonna be monumental. I say it's uh, rare that we have a cast that the whole team feels was so good. Like as soon as we finish and we walk off, like hugs and stuff happening like that was just the best thing ever uh, i need to save haste for the last boss i'm gonna hold this and uh the last boss of this cave might need us to put haste on somebody oh yesterday was sick it was a culmination of so much stuff happening at once Best day of the race so far was yesterday. So good. Uh, I'm going to use baby spells. How do you feel about the older FF spell slot system? I actually don't mind it. Like, it's, what it's doing now is making me consider what I'm going to be doing in 10 minutes and stuff. Like, yeah, I can blast a lot of these ads in one hit with certain spells, but I'm going to need them later, I think. So I like that aspect of it, of like, okay, we can do these crazy things, but... It's a bad idea because of what might be coming later. Genji Helm. Obviously, when you've got... It's actually much better in this temple or whatever you want to call it because obviously we can't do what we want to do. Because if we don't one-hit these ads, then they're going to divide and keep spreading. See, what I need is that bizarre. I, what I would really like in this game, though, is a proper turn order. I don't think my warrior or my knight is good enough to one-hit these. So he needs that Blazaga AoE damage to make sure that happens. Otherwise, we end up in a mess, right? All these ads are going to divide up and be uh, a big problem. How am I feeling? I'm not feeling too bad. Uh, definitely starting to feel a little lonely now because we're getting to that two-week mark without me seeing my family and staying, you know, staying in my room on my own every night. But that's part of the game. I, I prefer this to what we had in Abris. Let's put it that way. Is Ken feeling any better? I don't know. Ken is playing from the hotel just for the safety of everybody else. Uh, obviously, well enough to be playing. But, uh, I, I mean, he's a trooper, right? If you put it in context, Ken was so ill one day he couldn't play. And then the next day, he raided the longest raid day we've had at all in this entire race. He raided for like 17 hours straight or something. So he went from one day where he was completely unable to play... to uh, doing the longest raid day of the race so far. With zero complaints, from what I can tell. Mirrors is somebody I was more, wor more worried about, because uh, that raid day really took its toll on Mirrors, but he, he seems to be... Uh, seems to have got some sleep and got over it. I know the, the players were definitely uh, worried about him. I, I, I'm not sure exactly what happened. I'll, I'll find out at some point when they're... Hopefully, if they win, they'll be happy to talk about it. But I think he told them that he was just going home. Like, not home, home, but, like, back to the hotel. Like, he was done. He was too tired, and they weren't killing it. And I think he was ready for calling it a day. Tindril is... I, I want to do, like, a proper study on it. Like... The amount of nuance in Tindril's design is just extraordinary. So good. And I'm hoping Farak can live up to it. And uh, let's do a baby spell. I don't know if it was it's that way, uh, but Mira started logging out. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think he was done like a, a, a two hours before they killed it. I think he said he's exhausted. He was exhausted at dinner. Like, I did talk to Mira on dinner that day. And he was already kind of fed up because he'd had to sort all the loot out for everybody, which, if you've been paying attention to the race, is a monumental task. 
he was already kind of done at that point. It was like, oh, I think we're here. Hold. Huh. Yeah, Emma can't stream till we can. She wants to stream now. She's really enjoying what she's doing, but she's at a, at a horse thing with the boys. Mirrors is fine sorting loot. It's just, um, obviously, Echo doesn't distribute any loot until it's absolutely necessary. Like, they re-killed Smolderon without equipping any new loot. I mean, Alex was super confused because <laughs> they hit Enrage twice on the reclear and we're like, what? What's happening here? But then we find out later, it's like, oh yeah, they uh, literally haven't equipped a single item from the Mythic Reclear. Or any of their vaults, or crafted anything yet. They're literally wearing the exact same gear they wore last week. That looks like the boss to me down there. I think we go right gang for extra loot. No, they've sent the gear now. They sent, uh, they uh, pulled the trigger at Tindril to get the gear. But before that, they didn't equip anything. Nothing at all. It's a classic echo maneuver. It just kind of sucks. Uh, we can't do damage with that guy. Uh, what have we got left? We've kept our Faragas and our Thundagas. Let's go with another Bazaga. Kill it. Nice. Very classic Echo. They will make things as hard on themselves as possible to try and have a better payoff at the end every single time. The only people who wouldn't have sent at Tindril are people who could have got a drop from Tindril. That's it. Everybody else sent their stuff. Obviously, they're not. They, they, if they kill Farak, drops don't matter. So you go through the loot table of Tindril, it's like. Is there an item here that will cause me to choose something else? Uh, and if so, don't loot it. Is gear that important in WoW? Yeah. WoW is a gear-focused game. Gear is a massive, massive deal in World of Warcraft. One or two mis misplaced items can cost you the race. It is imperative that loot is uh, handled appropriately. They did send at Tindril. The only people who wouldn't send at Tindril are people who could have got something from Tindril that would have affected their choice afterwards. That's why the loot was so complicated that Miras had to sort out. There's got to be a boss here. There's no way there's not a boss. Who was it that broke the seal and released me from my slumber? Is it going to be Titan? There's no way it's Titan. It's the Fang of Earth. Hecaton share? Who's this guy? To get the poison on. I don't think this poison spell has... I don't think Bio has a poison dot component. We don't have float... Good job, dude. Yeah, compared to Bahamut and Leviathan, not exactly a big deal.
Don't warp me out. There's another chest. Okay, it didn't warp me out. Good. There's a chest. I saw it. I am going to use the mushroom to get out of it. See, there's a chest there. Yeah, we're not skipping a chest. We've come all this way, man. We're like balls deep in here. Let's use the rest of our mana. I'm not skipping on Luke because it might be Excalibur. It's unlikely, but it might be. Yeah, there's been a lot of Genji loot, so we'll see. We are so out of mana, though. We need to get it fast and get the hell out of here. You're joking. I have to go all the way around? Oh, you absolute arsehole. Absolute arsehole. Okay. We've got two Thundagas left. You don't like the graphics? I love the graphics. It's a pixel remaster of a game from, what, 30 years ago? It's got that nice retro feel. The gameplay's tight. It's perfect. Totally down for it. I mean, I, I'm here for the gameplay and the story anyway. Like, uh, I, I, I like this little style. Yeah, it's got this cute graphic style. It's all crystal clear. Plays nice and smooth. Totally down for it. Can I do this without magic? Can I one-shot one of these? I need my knight to pop off with a high roll here. Good lad. No, I've got one more path to check. It's this one here. And then we can mushroom out. Genji armor. Okay. Right, I need to use the uh, otter shroom. Right, we need to rest. And we need to take this back to Doga's Manor. Uh, yesterday, we did a lot of the side stuff that we knew about. So I'm not sure if we're pushing towards endgame. All right, let's sleep. Veg. Camera on, so thank you for the 15 months. Nahi, thank you as well, dude. Oh, God, I've got to get us out of here. Okay, this way. This way. Up here. And then we went that way. Down here. Uh, didn't we go across there? Did we go across this middle bit here? Nine nine one three. I'm not stuck, Steve Bruder. I'm good. Uh, no, I don't know if you guys have seen it yet, but I did a um, like a video game thing for El Gato yesterday. It's like pick a character. It's kind of cool. Uh, then we went up here. Then we went up here. No, like um, you know, like a Mortal Kombat esque character selection thing. Let's do some uh, like green screen work for it. It was cool.
probably not live yet, but yeah, it's awesome. I've done a lot of photo shoots. Okay. Right, the manor's down here. This giant ship can't cope with the winds. Really? This enormous battleship can't cope with the winds. To be fair, our little sub is way faster anyway. Yeah, we've got an enormous battleship. It just can't cope. <clears throat> yeah, keep adding more games to the list. The list is relentless. Let's keep adding more on. No problem. Well, yeah, if you stop... Oh, did... <sighs> I did like that you guys started sending donations from Mike's Speedo friend. I'm not sure I deserved that, but, you know. <laughs> Welcome back, warriors. Unai and I have been busy preparing for your arrival. Doga's voice echoed down the hall. Make your way through the tunnel. We await you at the end. Is this a trap? Probably not a trap, but still. Uh, the l we've what FFs we got left? We've got two, five, fifteen, and that's it. Thirteen. Uh, and then we've got any uh, more off-brand ones that we want to check out, like Tactics. X2, which I, I, I'm starting to get a feeling is a meme. The way it's raised to me, the way it's presented to me is like... Play X2. Tactics, I believe people think is really good, but X2 is just like... Yeah, you should try that. Pretty good. Have I told the story of Speedo Man? <laughs> okay, look. <laughs> it was just an unfortunate set of circumstances, all right? So, I didn't know how to get the sauna working. I think I said on stream, I tried to go in the sauna, but the sauna was cold. So, Nagura went and tested it out and found that actually in the main spa area, there's a big button, and you push that button... And in 15 minutes, the sauna will be ready. You have to turn it on, like, way outside. Outside of the changing rooms and well away from the sauna. So, she said it's awesome. She's tried it. Go and check it out. I was like, okay, cool. So, I went uh, to the spa. Nobody there. Just like normal, right? There's never anybody in there. It's totally empty. So, I was like, cool. I turned on the sauna. And then I swam for 15 minutes. And I was like, right, I'll go and get in the sauna now, right? So I goes in the sauna, gets myself ready, gets myself a big bowl of water, and thankfully the sauna is red hot. Absolutely roasting hot. So, so good. So I get in the sauna, throw some water on the coals, flares up, steaming hot, probably about 90 degrees, really sick. And I lay down and I'm chilling. About a minute, minute and a half after I've done this, I hear someone rummaging around outside. Now, obviously, I'm thinking someone's going to steal my bag, right? 
because my bag's like left outside. It's got my phone in it and headphones, my wallet's in there and all that. So I'm keeping a, I'm keeping an ear to what's going on outside. And anyway, the door opens. And it was a worst case scenario. It was an enormous man. 450 pounds, I'm guessing. Absolutely huge. Couldn't get through the door. Like, actually squeezed through the door, rubbing his sides on the door frame. Just in the tiniest bright red speedo you guys have ever seen in your life. So I didn't... I, like, sat up when the door opened because I was laid down. It's not a particularly big sauna to give room. And I'm not joking when I say the guy's thighs rubbed my toes as he, like, squeezed into this tiny sauna. <laughs> I don't give an issue with uh, overweight people or anything. It's just there was no room for this guy in there. And then he sat right next to me. Now... Even though it's a small sauna, I'm not saying that he was so big that no matter where he sat, he would have been sat right next to me. He didn't sit near the edge. He sat right next to me to the point where his arm was like right there away from me while I was sat there. I was, look I was looking at him like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, and I was, I was chilling then. I was leaning back. I was chilling. Uh, and then he started talking to me. And uh, I didn't know what language it was at that time, but I knew I didn't speak it. So I went, oh, I'm really sorry. I'm English. And he went, <sighs> and then he said something which I clearly don't understand, which was definitely offensive, right? He probably just went, you fucking English people or something like that. And then he started talking at me again. Uh, and I went, I'm sorry, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't speak your language. He goes, I'm German. And I'm like, okay, like, you don't speak German. So he could speak English. And I went, no. <laughs> he goes, I learned English. <laughs> and then I thought, to ease the tension, I went, yeah, yeah, I was like, it's pretty cool now. English is like the most spoken language in the world, did you know? Like a little bit of fact, and he went, uh-huh. And he was just annoyed by my presence at that point. And I was like, I don't know what's going on here. And I was like, I just want to leave at this point. Like, this has just ruined the entire relaxation portion of why I'm in the sauna in the first place. And not only that, I could clearly see the outline of his testicles under his belly. And he was right next to me. So I, all, the only place I could look was, like, up. Like this. Like, staring at the wall or close my eyes to try and relax. But I couldn't relax now because this guy was clearly just... A, I was like, this is just fucking shit. So I was then debating in my head, and we had a little conversation. What is the appropriate amount of time before you could leave without clearly like being like, I don't hate you, and I'm leaving because of you. I was having a good time, and then you came, and now I'm not. Well, yeah, it was a big debate amongst the guys here, but uh, I, I stayed, I think, probably two minutes. This is even before the conversation started. And I was like, I'm just going to go get the hot tub. So I got out. Uh, I got out, I had a quick shower, uh, and I was like, I'm gonna go chill in the hot tub. So nobody else was in the swimming pool area or the spa or the hot tub area. So I walked in, I turned the hot tub on, I got my phone, I put the race on so I could listen to what was going on, put the phone near the hot tub so I could hear it, and then just got in the hot tub and was chilling. And the motherfucker got out like 30 seconds later and started fucking wide walking to the hot tub. I'm like, you're taking the piss. You're absolutely taking the piss. But at that point, stubborn Mike kicked in. So I stayed and I stretched out and he had to sit in like a corner because I just didn't move. I refused. I was like, you clearly just, tr tr you're trying to make, me I, I got the feeling you're trying to make me uncomfortable at this point and you are fucking with the wrong guy because I have been through some shit, sir. And if you think you are trying to make me uncomfortable, I've played Persona 5, motherfucker. You've got no chance. So I just didn't move. Because I was laid down in the hot tub and I was bubbling away. And he, he sat like squidged up in the corner. And he was just staring at me. So I just looked back at him. And I didn't turn my fucking phone down or anything. I just sat listening to the race. I was like, I'm having a good time. You're not fucking spoiling this either. It's like, I could have got back in the sauna. He probably would have come again. <laughs> Yeah, he was just staring. I was like, you can fuck off. I'm not going anywhere. I got out. I left you with the sauna. 
But I'm not... You're not pissing about with the hot tub. Anyway, he got out like 30 seconds later. <laughs> he just got out. I think uh, the sound of like all the English people banging on about video games just was not... Yeah, this was not his plan. But he clearly got out to try and like get me to leave the hot tub as well. I was like, I'm not fucking going anywhere, mate. You've no chance. Not happening. So that, that was the tale. <laughs> that was the tale. What's that saying, Dominus? It's just like, now you're being a dick. I can understand you, like, maybe disliking English people or whatever. It is what it is. I'm, I'm not going to, like, bow down to it or whatever. But you want the sauna? You probably didn't know I was in here. Whatever. Take the sauna. It's fine. I'll go chill in the hot tub. But I, immediately, like, getting out of the sauna to, uh... Join me in the hot tub. I'm like, ah. Because I did say, it's like, oh, I'm going to go get in the hot tub. Because he understood English. So he's like, I just said, oh, I'm going to go get in the hot tub. Uh, and yeah. Oh, is it lunchtime? I can see all the boys going past my door. Maybe it's his way of flirting. He had a really small dick, so I hope not. Unlock. Two doors. Hmm. It's not about the size. Sure. I mean, it helps. <laughs> it helps. How do I know? Emma told me her last boyfriend had a huge dick. Shining curtain. What is that? Cast magic reflect. Okay, right. We can go back down there. Let's check the other side of that room before we go any further. <laughs> Makes sense. <clears throat> it's okay to say you were going to the hot tub as an invitation. I don't think it came across that way, but I haven't actively flirted in, you know, 20 years, so maybe. <laughs> it must be lunch. All the, uh, have the boys stopped playing right now? I can see Alex floating around. It's got to be lunchtime. It does feel early. 11 o'clock. They're playing? It must just be Roger. Something's going on. There's a flurry of activity next to me. Right, let's go back a sec. Uh, no, Alex hasn't finished his shift yet. I think they're on a break. I don't know. Uh, I'll see if Alex pops in the door. A lot of spell reflect stuff here. There he is. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're finishing at 12, right? I uh, am. Do you want to go to the supermarket? We're not doing it today, but it still needs to get done. Or do you want to go later? Have you got something on? I didn't come by. Are you going to go to bed? You want me to I drive and I'll drag you around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if I drive. All right, I'll be back in a sec, dude. You didn't sleep? No.
You didn't get owns? That's unbelievable. That's outrageous. You didn't get owns. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm so disappointed in you. So disappointed. Who won? Uh, Jace has the total winning. Uh, Furion, though, got the level 7 ranking. Furion had it. Yeah, Jace is the champ. Hey, things have just got serious, guys. I've got to tell Emma. I'm going to be in trouble later today. They just extended our flights. We're not going home. I am in so much trouble. We just had, we just, uh, they just grabbed us all then and they were like, okay, we're just letting you know you're going to get an email shortly. We've cancelled all your flights and uh, you're not going home. How much longer? They've added another week to our flights just in case. So we'll see. We'll see. <sighs> It's a, it's a tough boss, man. They can always, if it, if it dies early, they can change our flights back again. That's usually what happens, is they just uh, change them as and when. The funny thing is, when we got here, they were like moaning a little bit that they had, because they didn't know the exact release date of the raid, and they obviously have to sort the venue long before the race, right? Is that they booked this place for two months. And uh, they were like, oh, we've had to book it for way too long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they've paid for the, the venue for two months before the event started. So they knew the race would be in that window. And they're like, oh, we had to book it for way too long, man. And now look. Oh, gold needle's the wrong one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, good job, Knight. Yeah, we're not coming home, boys. We're not coming home. Sag. Uh, they, uh, the reason they're not super forward with the release date is they're, of, they're not really sure themselves. They know it's going to be around then, but if they have to fix something and get... Remember, there's a lot more to the, these patches than just the raid. Stare. So if something's not working, they can't release the patch. Like They, they do try and give a heads up of generally when it's going to be, but... Uh, it's... Like, there's only a couple of times I've been told really early when the patch is coming by Blizzard, and it's never been accurate. It's always get pushed back or even moved forward. Roscoe, thank you for the 57 months. Edrum, forever stuck in the world race. Yeah, I can't hear the notifications again. Why? I've not changed anything. I hate that. I hate that. Thank you all for the subs, guys. Appreciate it, man. You guys have been legit. But we're probably here for a while. You made it. We're about to complete the Eureka Key. But first, you must defeat both Unai and me in battle. That's right. Think you can handle us? Why do we have to fight you, though? Listen well. Long ago, mankind came into possession of weapons far too powerful for them to wield. They were sealed away in Eureka. But now they are necessary. In order to go to Eureka, you need the key. But to create this key, we need massive amounts of energy. Energy we can only produce in battle. Nah, mate. I'm not kicking the shit out of this old lady and you, you mustache man. Innocent fools. If you will not attack me, then I will take the initiative. Brace yourselves. Ew. Doga? Gross, bro. I think our boy's gonna give me the old wiggly arms. Ok. 
Okay, Drain doesn't do much. Uh, can you suggest to play a skill at least once power stretch during strat socks is the best to overtake up their headsets? Uh, they already have all that stuff. But, I mean, it's ultimately up to the players. They do go through all that. They have uh, quite a wellness policy for the guys. He's not wrong. I try and do it as well. Sitting for 16 hours a day for two weeks... Uh, could mess you up pretty quickly. I was going to stick to basic cure for now. This boss doesn't seem to do much in the way of damage. Uh, we still got another boss to go though. I'm going to transfer over to Blazaga here. I don't think it's third reset. I think we're going to see a kill on Sunday. Saturday or Sunday. T Swift reclear, hypers. Don't die, mate. And next you'll face me. Nah, mate. I don't want to fight you, old lady. Now's the time for chit chat. Don't worry. Even if our bodies perish, our spirits can't be destroyed. Now fight me. What does she look like in real life? Oh my god. She's got that booty. Who not? This old lady got that got that booty. I know she subscribes to cake farts. Oh, she's got holy. No way. Uh, we need to heal. Yeah. Let's top them up. Let's go with another bio. I have to imagine there's not another boss after this. got a lot of health this old lady fair enough he's got to jump we don't need to heal him i don't think uh thundaga that might hurt nope okay get shocked lady Are we going to Eureka? Are we actually going to a new zone of the game? No way. Mates. Now the Eureka key is complete. Take it with you. Nami. Don't fret. My spirit will live on no matter what state my body is in. Go. Go to the circus tower beyond the statues. Zandi is attempting to call forth darkness into this world. He must be stopped. Go to circus tower. Enter Eureka. Here, take this. It's the circus key. You'll need this to open the door to the tower. You're not alone. We will continue to watch over you. Please, stop, Zandi. Me. Uh, people die too fast, in my opinion, Kara. To care about them enough. I don't give a shit about that old lady and that old man. Fuck them. Fuck them. I don't give a toss. 
I would have stomped some mud hole in her anyway if I had a chance. I would. Ready your alliance for your lap? We're going to Circus Tower. We're on our way. If I could drag Alex to the supermarket. His entire reason for not wanting to go is he just can't be asked. That's the real Alex in a nutshell. Why don't you want to... You got to go to bed? You got to have a nap? No. I just can't be asked. <laughs> if he doesn't go, I'm just going to yoink the car and go myself. There's nothing I hate more than being unprepared. Yeah, we've all got rental cars, so we can borrow them off each other. We're all authorized to drive them, besides the Americans, because apparently a stick with numbers on it is far too complex. Jesse could drive it. Like, Jeeth's okay. Dratnos and Krista have just full fucking CB8'd the whole process. I like my car like I like my guns. <laughs> but it's led to genuine arguments here. Because Daisy's learning to drive. And she refuses to learn to drive a manual. I'm like, why? If you learn to drive a manual, you can drive everything. If you learn to drive an automatic... You can only drive automatics. Like, it makes no sense. Bad juju. They stall and it scares them. <laughs> I don't think uh, Daisy's... She's played Final Fantasy XIV. She's not afraid of a good stall. Oh, let me out. Come on. All right, I'm blasting these with everything I've got. I've had enough. I haven't been in a manual car in the US since the 1980s. Yeah, I think in the US it is different. They, they just don't seem to have manuals. Uh, your trucks must be manual and stuff though, right? It's only your, your normal road cars that are automatic. Or if you had to drive, like, a bus or a long wheelbase van. Surely they're not automatic. They're automatic as well? Fucking hell. Uh, when you were on your car loan manager job before, is there someone that only accepts automatics? Yeah. Absolutely. And I always look down upon them for being poor. They used to give me, like, uh, bullshit lies. Like, my wrist can't bend in the way that a gear stick needs. By the way, I'm going to tennis later. Alright. Alright. I see what you're saying. My car is never being fixed. Like, that's never happening. But I'm having to pay for owning a car I could never drive. I have to pay 400 and something pounds a month for a car I could never drive. It is literally the worst I've ever been screwed over in my entire life. I have no legal recourse. Okay, we can now pass through here then. Do I have to walk through? Ah, oh, guys, thank you so much for the Prime, man. Thank you. Is 
Yeah, horrible. Just a horrible situation. I don't have much in the way of... Uh... For fun money. I pay myself as little as possible, so it's a big dent. It sucks. There's nothing I can do about it. Considering we've got mountains after here, I think... Fly over here. Hey, Tailfish, thank you for the 10. The Roscoe, thank you so much as well. Thank you so much for the 10 gift subs, Tailfish. Thank you so much, man. Oh, there, it's... Uh, I think it's a cube now. I actually haven't seen that car since the last update I gave you. Uh, but the garage it was at was... Got to see if they could scrap it uh, and get something for it. Essentially, the... And obviously, I took it to a very trustworthy garage um, that I'd worked with in the past. But essentially, that was his fee for, like, checking the car and sorting the engine out and all that is like we're gonna get like 50 quid for this mike like nothing else golgin wow thank you for the five gifted subs man thank you what was actually wrong with the car uh the cooling system failed uh which led to a chain reaction which destroyed the engine essentially in a tldr version it went on longer than that but it is what's what it was Platinum and Everwaltz. Thank you so much. 21 months and 3 months. Thank you so much, both of you. Okay, we're in a maze. Let's go up here first before we go into that door. Let's have a little scout. Uh, let's see how dangerous these mobs are. Okay, we're probably going to have to put in a basic magic attack. Otherwise, we're just going to be having to outheal a lot of extra damage. So they have about 1,700 health. Okay. Have they just had a new best pull or something? The guys are like flurry of activating. Whatever's going on in the studio is really loud. What's happening? Oh, they're on break. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, thank you so much for the hype trade, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here with you and spend some time in normality while I'm at the race. All right, I think we check this door first. Is it locked? No. the earth crystal but something attacks you're surrounded on master zandi's orders you will be swallowed by darkness titan that's not titan yona thank you for the five gifted subs <laughs> oh my god that was like a level three train fucking high fives guys that's awesome Uh, that's not Titan. Cocker, Cocker Titan. Uh, I got a feeling we're going to have to do a lot of these bosses. What usually counts as Earth magic? Is it usually water? We don't really have. Wind? Let's go with... Thunder's usually... Uh, useless, right? Let's try fire. Not fire. 709 damage. Wind is garbage as well. Huh. Okay. Uh, maybe he's just anti-magic. Let's try Blizzarga.
pretty shit. At least melee is effective. I would guess we're going to get a combination of all different types of stuff. Let's try... Um, for the sake of it, let's see if Thunder does anything. I suspect it doesn't. Most effective so far. This guy has flare? What? Holy crap! Holy crap! Uh, see if we can get it to high potion himself to just survive the next attack. save the mana on that. We'll go with Phoenix down again. I think he's going to get quaked, though. We have one Thundaga left. This is tough. I don't know if God will save him. Okay, that's good. That's good. He got his health back up. Excellent. That's perfect. Right, we need you to save mana, so I'm just going to put you on defense for now. Uh, I'm actually going to go to attack here. Like, the magic, we're just wasting magic. Let's dink donk him. I've got to feel he's nearly dead. Right? Just rude. <laughs> we might have to go back out and rest up here. We used a lot of resources there. We've only got 10 Phoenix Downs left. Hmm. I think that airship is just outside. It's the fourth and final crystal, the Earth Crystal. Warriors of Light, the mortal known as Zandi, is using my powers. Heidelin? The utmost evil. He plans to drown the world in darkness. You must use the power within me to cast away the cloud of darkness. I think we just got full restored. Magus, Devout, and Summoner now available. Circus Tower is a conductor for light. Zandi plans to use it to amplify our powers and summon the Cloud of Darkness. Go now to Circus Tower and stop Zandi, Warriors of Light. Hmm. Do we suspect that Magus is a more powerful black mage. No, she can't use any of those spells. Are they grayed out because we're not in combat? 
<sighs> Devout is white mage. But they look like Kryl. <laughs> Do we want Roger dressed as Kryl? Is that what we want? Do we want Roger dressed as Kryl? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. We have half a million gil. It might be time to buy some of the upgraded armor. We have immense amounts of cash. Yeah, we got a free heal because we did a job swap. Uh, okay. But what if a new ship costs half a mil? Fuck you, Raven. Let's keep pushing on. We haven't actually had any good upgrades for the night or anything in a long time. Right. I hope you guys can... S okay, magic... Okay, so we can still use all our spells. Can we still use arrow? Yeah, we can. All right. Whoa. Whoa. We can cast bio 13 times? What? I didn't chat the Kragas. We'll chat later. Uh, there's a lot of chests here. All right, we do need some magic on these. Mm, does it look like it's less low levels? I mean, Blazag is weirdly low. Like, Bazaga's only 8. Where Thundaga's now 15. Is their actual damage output better, or do they... Just more slots. Yeah, I'll probably find out when they level up. Yeah, it's going to take a little hot second to get them some XP. I mean, we essentially had, um... We had the uh, jobs nearly capped. That's okay. Crystal Shield, Lilith's Kiss. Okay. Thanatos! We are absolutely winning. We just got two big job upgrades. We definitely need armor upgrades, though. We absolutely need armor upgrades. We can also do with some weapon upgrades for, uh, I think this is undead, uh, for our Dragoon too. He's had those wind things forever.
I think it's nearly dead. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not using a summoner. We'll check it before we finish the game, but uh, I'm not too interested in it right now. I really like our little group combo. Black Musk. Ah, I should have casted a basic cure it or something. Would have been a better play. Hey, the oldies are goldie for a reason, dude. Gonna die. Don't need to worry about it. Uh, so that pathway... We want to go to this one first, and we want to come back. Crystal gloves. What do they do? Gloves that prevent petrification, shrinking, and the wearer from turning into a toad. I think I want the protect ring instead. Just a flat damage reduction to magic spells seems better. It'd be nice to see the percentages of damage reduction we actually get. We're not going to get that, I don't think. You think it's 50? Yeah, it feels strong. Like, I do not fear a lot of the magic spells that come flying our way. At least on um, our Dragoon and Knight, anyway. I could give the Protect Rings maybe to the casters. They tend to take a bit more of a kicking anyway. Yeah, I have a streaming room because I'm too loud. I think next time I will be in with the rest of the casters, though, to see how it goes. See if they complain. I don't know how... It, I'll have to ask the guru how it's been for her. I get excited, man. I like streaming. <laughs> I get excited, dude. I'm trying to keep the noise down. I was I, They already locked me in this morning, so I don't know that again. This room is very hot. Okay, very sort of standard set of enemies here. There's a point of container outside. I mean... It's no good being disrupted to everybody else's stuff, right? You don't want to be, like, overly dominant in the room of just being loud. That's That's not fun for anybody. But having said that, there's always good stuff going on in the cast room, and I don't get to be a part of it. Whoa. What the hell? That thing just hit me for over a thousand. Uh, we're very quickly running out of heals. Dude, the encounter rate in here is wacky. Unleash the Dark Knight? We haven't had a weapon for it yet, I don't think. I actually don't know what having different melee does. Maybe, uh, I'll have a look in a sec. I probably collected the weapon for it at some point. I only care if it does more actual damn though. Other than that, I don't want to toss. Oh, 
Let's try. Oh, we use the Genji stuff. He can't wear the protect ring. Okay. Okay, I could give it to them. You can't wear the protect ring. Oh, no, you've got the other one. Okay. Okay, let's go like that. No summoner. The break blade. Omni rod. Okay. A rod that bolsters a variety of elemental powers can sometimes cause gradual petrification. Sweet. What's the break blade? A sword infused with the power of earth can inflict gradual petrification. Uh, out of the mythic bosses, which would you like? Uh, which would you like? Which would you like to progress at their current state? Uh, all of them. None of these bosses look frustrating to me. They look very hard, but they're puzzly based, and I like that. Yeah, I would not mind being in the raid right now. Uh oh. We're gonna do zero damn now because we've got no levels. This is trash. We've just trashed our entire team. This Dark Knight doesn't do like 4k damage now. Is that too high? Maybe we go Viking. What's Blade Blitz? Hold on, we've got Blade Blitz. What does that do? Hold. Hold. Dark Knight saved, maybe. Uh, we've done FF4. FF4 was one of the first ones we did, actually. And also my favorite. I know this Dark Knight's kind of a little bitch. I agree. I think FF4 is phenomenal. <sighs> I hate leveling. <sighs> I enjoyed FF8. It's just bizarre. Just buy a boost. Just buy a boost. Stop being a pussy. Oh, FF8 is not a snore, Yennefer. What? What? FF8 is not a snore. FF8 was a heroin fueled nightmare. I enjoyed it. We'll never know what was to become of the hot dogs, though. We will forever remain blind as to what the hot dogs were.
Come on, pal. Big damn. We're running out of mana. We <laughs> This can't go on, game. <laughs> we need to move on with our lives. Yeah, we're doing a modern one next, and then another retro one. Hot dog percent run. I don't think it's even possible to get the hot dog right. There's no way. This has to be the end of the maze. We're starting to run out of resources. Like, genuinely starting to run out of resources. If you commit to do 13, you've got to do the trilogy full. 13, 13, 2, and lightning returns. I don't have to commit to shit. I will play at least the first introduction to the game. That I will agree to. Let me out. This is all for XP, isn't it? That's what this is. This is just an XP farm to get some levels. This encounter rate. Summon? What? You never casted that before. If I kill the beast, does the, the Iron Claw disappear? Of course not. Okay. Not another floor, surely. Okay, I think we're at a boss. Uh, let's use high potions here. Man is already tight. I'll do. Oh. Ooh! Holy Lance. Poggers. Have I played 8 to 1 hours? No. I've just left the game on when I've left here to go and cast. Uh, and I left the game on all night last night because uh, the internet died and uh, we couldn't restream. So, no push to that. I'm farming off stream and making zero progress. I'm just that damn good. Whoa! Okay, holy against demons. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. The crystal tower. Are we not getting a mana refresh? We don't get tents in this game. There are no tents in this game. Maybe in here we get a mana refresh. The old wiggly arms. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. You like that, don't you? With a wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it. You gotta be weak to fire, right? Give me the old wiggly arms. Oh, just melees for over a thousand damage. That's pretty fun. Dude, this Dark Knight's trash. Yeah, 
it's low level, but like I can't be asked leveling it either. Refresh me. A voice emanates from the mirror. I am the door to the forbidden realm of Eureka, resting place of weapons deemed beyond mankind's power. An invisible wall is blocking the path. Not the circus key? Um, there's a lot of chests in the previous room we should probably get before we go in there, right? And there's another way out of here. Yeah, this, this crystal tower is full of bugs. Oh, fuck off. You summon cum cum? Stop s summoning cum all over me. What? Stop it! Oh no. I do nowhere near enough dam for this. These cum cums are wrecking me. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh my god. This is ridiculous. How much health does this cum have? Alright, I'm going max deeps. I've got to kill them all. Jump, you fool! Okay, so the game plan is to kill the other ones faster, right? Let me grab my lunch. I think lunch is here because he dried out his lunch. Food was a lie. There's no food. All right. One thing we could definitely say is the loot is probably worth, right? We have three heals left. We can't deal with that much cum. It's too much. Doga's clone? Oh my god, it's just a boss. Oh my god. It's freaking dark night sucks. It sucks.
I've got to believe it's going to pay off. It's just not paying off now. Honestly, I'm not even sure how we rest these characters. We probably have to go into Eureka. White Musk, what's that? My damage. Oh, come on. Could be worse, it could be the summoners. Okay, we're starting to break a thousand damage. All right, good. That's all right. Missed, good. All right, Alex needs, just needs the hard carriers. All right, level four. We're rising. We have to get all these chests. They're going to be full of great stuff. No, don't flee. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to press that. I was being f too fast. Right, I see the crack in the wall. Garbage. Oh, shit. Right. The play is to focus them down. No, man. It's all good. It's all good. It's not all good. He just does no damn. Our boy just does zero. He just fucking negative DPS, man. We kill it? No. Kill it? Okay. We might be okay. We're good. Okay, they're leveling a bit now. This is good. The problem is we literally gave new jobs to three of the team. That's too much. Okay, is any of this loot worthwhile at all? I need to save these Arogas. We're going to have to do lower damage. But we're not grinding, dude. I'm not fucking grinding anything. But we can paralyze it. Oh, petrify it. That works.
Get dig donked. Chocobo's Wrath. Who's this guy? This guy's about to murder me, isn't he? Oh. I think he's probably nearly dead. Okay, more of that guy? That's fine. I think this is all items. I don't think there's anything of use in this entire place. Oh, shit. I'm dead. Okay. Next time we're at a vendor, I'm buying a million health potions. Let's go up in here first before we go into Eureka. Something's written there. This door could all be open with the circus key. We have that. I think we go to Eureka first. Dude, look where we are. Got the name at the top. Oh, the Crystal Tower. Yeah. yeah, we've just got the Eureka key. You make it up jockeys, Al. Yeah. It's very nice of you, sure. Thank you, mate. Alex making us some hot chocks. Oh, no. Right, single target. Mad DPS, yeah? Blast. I have to imagine, right, if we go into Eureka... We're going to get a, an HP and mana restore. There's no way they expect us to ascend this tower without it. Cheers, Al. The crystal to no Graha yet. He'll be here, I believe. No, no mention of Omega or Ultima yet. Uh, right, we've got 11 Kuragas left. It's not bad. All right, let's go to Eureka. And we'll think about the tower after. I have to believe we're going to get a full reset of spells in there. Jesus Christ, he takes a lot of damage. That'll do. Thanks, Alex.
We haven't had a mana reset in a long, long time. Do we ascend the crystal tower and get one? Or do we go through Eureka to get one? We can't go back out because we have to go through another area to do that. Let's see. There's chests here, though, and I like chests. Let's get chests. Oh, Jesus Christ. How's, how many Aerogas we got left? Two. Four Thundagas, three Blazagas. Okay. Okay, these don't hurt. That's nice. Seem vulnerable to wind damage too. That's nice. I'm gonna go with pink bonk damage. Felia, thank you so much for the 38 months. Uh, cheers, my friend. I'm on the couch in uh, like three hours. We should probably do drama time on the hour to make sure we get that in. It is Friday. Zyvex, thank you for the 22 months. Thank you so much. All right, this loot is crap. Wait, did my guy die? What? I was looking at the generous resub, okay? You know, to support the stream and the whole family. I was doing my duty. Sir Citrus, welcome. Welcome, man. Thank you so much for the prime. A buyer. Let's go with standard arrows. They're crap damage, but I mean, it's something, right? God, our Dark Knight is no damn, dude. Foxy! Hey, dude. Thank you for the 47 months, man. 47. Predates any of the FF games. A bomb arm. Deals intense fire damage. So that'll be like Faraga, I guess. All right, when we go through this door... Oh, no, we're dead. Oh, we're super dead. Bruh. This is clown shoes. Are you fucking kidding me? Can he pull off the resin time? The answer is no. Well, one thing we do know is these chests are bullshit. We're making a beeline for the door. There's got to be a full restore here somewhere. Bro, are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> 
I am two steps from rolling back these characters. I have two steps from rolling our boys back. Got like a level 100 knight just chilling. How has there been no restore yet? Okay, maybe there's like a KO one in here and a fountain in the other one. Stop it. No, dude. All right, we're clearly super on the level for this area. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it, man. If that's what we're doing, that's what we're doing. It's not what I wanted, but I'll do it. Now, this, usually this gives us a really good item at the back end, right? This guy takes zero DPS. What the hell is this? I'm out of heals. All I've got left is Kuraga. Oh, it's Giga Overkill. All right, let's... Uh, let's try Blizzaga. Maybe slowing him down works. Thanks, Alex. God bless Alex. Keep going, keep going. Alex is going to land on him and kill him now. There's no way he has more than 12k HP. Oh, kiss my ass. Thank God. Ho! Ho, ho, ho! Ho, ho, ho! Big Pog. Uh, who gets it? Uh, let's make sure it does what we think it does. So it's a helmet. Uh, and yeah, okay. So it does do what we think. Um, okay. Uh, it has to be white mage. It has to be. 
Yeah. It's got to go on the white mage. Or devout, or whatever they're calling it in this. Uh, okay, sweet. That is the result. Uh, we have to check the other side now. If there's ribbons in this cave, we need them. Uh, mid gang or right gang? We gotta go right gang. Okay, give me some big damn, man. Our last air roger. We are drained, bro. What's up? Right, two minutes. Oh God, I've got to go do a photo. I don't want to go back to the other area because it's full of the cum monsters. Got him. All right, well, level 10 on Roger. That's good. Uh, okay, we're nearly out of high potions now. All right, let me pause here real quick. Uh, I need to go and do a picture. Let's change my shirt. Uh, oh, yeah. Let me put, uh, I'll just put, yeah, I'll put the words on for a sec. I won't be long.
Welcome back. Good job, team. We kicked ass to take names. I'm on borrowed time as it is. We're going to do a full photo shoot thing. Boo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lunch is here. So I'm good until the players take lunch and then they have to do a photo shoot thing. We're on very borrowed time. Madge. Yeah. I'm going shopping with Al. We have no DPS spells left. That are worth a piss. We have nothing left. We're gonna be fine. I can't, I've only got four elixirs, dude. I can't use them now. All right, just attack. Thank you, Alex. Level nine, okay. Oh, we have to go in the other doorway. There's a chest. For fuck's sake. We have to go back. Okay, I got the preemptive strike. Good. It's the most powerful spell we have, Thundaga. Kill him. Kill him. Well, we've not got any of the super spells yet. I, there's still a lot left, I think. We're still unlocking jobs. Oh, crap. My mage is out of mana. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Got seven heals left. I don't think we saw an elixir store. I don't think so. We could definitely have way better armor at this point. I was holding out. Right, we've got seven Kuragas. See how we can get away with that one. I don't want to overheal anybody. We need to be precious with our resources. No more encounters, please. Fox. Alright, we've got to reduce the amount of them. All right, your health is good. Let's try and get the res. Res the mage for AoE. Don't kill it. That's not happening. Okay. Wait, didn't die. Never mind. This is beyond cursed, dude. Gotta be fine.
one won't kill Roger. Right? Okay. This chest better be worth it. Does Elixir give us all our mana back? It does. Why haven't we got any mana potions? All I need is mana. I don't need... Right, most powerful spell we've got. It's our last Blazaga. It's our last one. Come on. Avocado salad for lunch. Oh, usually it's got a bit of chicken in it. That'll be all right. Here is the one I'm thinking. This is our last DPS spell. Okay, these aren't too bad, these ones. We should be all right. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, we're out of deep. Oh, we got one DPS spell left. Sweet. Okay, we're down to baby magic, but... Yeah, yeah, it's on Steam. You can get the Pixel Remaster Collection. Uh, you get, like, all of them. Really cheap. You get, you get like, uh, I don't know, 500 hours of gaming. Like, 20 bucks or something. Hold, don't die. Don't die. Nope, not online, offline. We've got six high potions left. We're gonna have to take the elixir, we've got no choice. We have no choice at this point. We have to take the elixir. We are out of options, man. This is our last Kuraga. We're out of everything. That was our last possible spell. The question is, do we use another one on the mage? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. Okay, dude. Alright. Yeah. Hilarious. You're funny. You're a funny game. You're a funny guy. Really funny. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, even Baby Fire is pretty good, so we're, we're alright. Will you do some goddamn damage? You're pissing me off, man. Useless sack of shit. Our knight did like triple the damage and it had guard on other people. It was way better. Ooh, it'd be a dark knight. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, we're blasting, we're blasting. Full blast. Even this Blade Blitz is just like slightly more than a single target. Uh, let's go with a cure. It's our last fire. We're gonna have to use that elixir. I feel like we've just made the game infinitely harder on ourselves for some reason. Okay, full restore down here, right? Uh-oh. Uh, let's put Protect on uh, the Mage. Need to heal first, though. Do we care if the Mage dies? Do no damn. Huh. That was not the boss. Okay. Pokeball? The Moon Ring Blade, Force of Darkness, show your worth. No way! Awesome! Okay, do not tell me this guy is anti-melee. There's no way he's anti-melee. There's no way. That was just a bad roll, right? Jesus, even Alex only hits him for 1300 with jump. Oh no. Fuck you, game.
It's not wind. It's not wind. So it's definitely poison, right? It's not poison. Fire? Fire! I wonder if it's tied into what spells he casts at you. Do not change... I swear to you, boss, do not change what you're doing. Okay? Be a friend. Do not change. Let's try frost. Wind. Thunder. Thunder. I swear to fucking God, if I set this up and you just change at the last second. You're actually a fucking clown, boss. You're a clown. I'm going full melee. Fuck it. Protect this, you cunt. I'm gonna dink donkey to death. guy thinks he's cute. He's not cute. You're a fucking jerk. Don't care. Shift all you want. Rude. gonna win I am I'm gonna win
Alex has to carry. It's the only way. I don't think haste affects jump, so we don't need to do that. I'm pretty sure it does it because uh, jump can't multi hit. Thankfully, he does Z DPS, so. It's not like Magi Master, he can mess us up in a heartbeat. Give it up, dude. Just give it up. It's over. Suck it. Suck it, you dirt box. Suck my balls. Obtain the moon ring blade. Any equippers? Ooh. A bladed discus. Sure. Uh, there's still no refresh. No, no refresh, no reset. Well, I've used the elixir now, so it's whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't even matter anymore. We've used the elixir. Okay, this discus thing's pretty dope, actually. Left gang, right gang, mid gang. Left gang. Uh, this guy wasn't that bad, right? Let's save our bigger spells for later. You want to do mid gang last? That looks like the progress path. Dude, I'll take a Phoenix down right now, honestly. It's fine with me. Massa Moon, the Mystic Blade. Defeat me and I'm yours to wield. Kunoichi? If 
Bio should be strong. All right, 1,200, not bad. I did not know there was a separate term for female ninja. Interesting. Shrew Japan. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's just check Farago out of interest. Come on. Okay, Arrow does nothing. Oh, she's... Well, that makes sense. Jesus Christ! Yo, this lady needs to relax. Don't kill me. Oh my god. I feel like she's dead shortly. Am I dead? Holy crap. Yo, this lady has no chill. She just attacked, though, so we should be able to get the Kuraga off, I think. Nope. Get a Dark Knight! Dark Knights are awesome, Mike! Knight's terrible. Get yourself a good quality Dark Knight. Really awesome. Super good, actually. You know what? I'm going to leave him dead, piece of shit. Oh, we should res him. For fuck's sake. The XP is kind of invaluable, man. I need you to kill it. I, I can't with this lady. I've got four Phoenix Downs left. We got the experience. Okay. We got the XP. That's what matters. We got the XP. That was a lot of extra levels into them. Okay. We got any high potions left? Let's use our uh, weaker heals. Poggers. Okay. We push on. No, I don't have life. If I had life, I would use life. But I don't. So I'm not. All right. That would be the play. We're actually getting some damage now out of the Dark Knight, which is nice. Use life match. <laughs> Cast it. Cast it. Six. Oh, come on. What is this? Give me a bench somewhere. All right, it looks like we can't go left. 
Uh, maybe? There's a platform to the right. Oh. Fair enough. Oh, we went the exact wrong way. Son of a bitch. At this point, these guys should pose no problem to any of us, right? Realistically. At least we're apparently getting really badass weapons, so... We've got that going for us. Are we winning? Not really. This has been a pretty hellacious part of the game, if I'm being honest with you. And we've only got two cures left. That's it. We're, out of, we're running out of mana again. It's, it's, this whole area is clown shoes. Okay, I'm starting to be okay with our Dark Knight. He's actually contributing, which is nice. Good down swap again. Why are they screaming? What's going on? Oh, they're getting ready to pull after the break. Okay. No job swapping. <laughs> That's really unfair. That's really unfair. That's super unfair, bro. <sighs> Excalibur, the sword of legend. Can you handle my might? The general? Who the fuck is the general? Okay, melee seems alright. Good. I assume this is Excalibur is gonna melee us. Jump and jump fast, my friend. Get out of here. Good. Oh, he has bio. Oof. Two curas left. Uh, thunder seemed weak as. Let's try. Let's try frost. Uh, I just need to keep the rest alive while Alex puts in work. Uh, 
All right, he's pretty anti-magic. Fair enough. That, that makes sense. Yeah, we'll just chuck some... We got loads of Thundargas. They do do something. We'll just lob them at him. Okay. All right, we're out of... Uh, yeah. He's got to be nearly dead, right? He's got to be. Good roll, good roll. Uh... I don't want to overheal that hard. We don't know how far we've still got to go in this cave. We might have a really long way to go. Let's use the potions. Still not enough. We've got to be close. Come on, dude. Just fall over. Oh, I'm dead. Ooh. Extra spicy mayonnaise. Rude. What is the damage rolls? We just got Masamune. Our damage rolls are actual trash. Good times. Okay, we're out of high potions now. Time on. Oh, man. We are so running out of everything. We are absolutely drained. I hope Alex kills the next one. He should. Give it the dig donk. There can't be another floor, right? We must be at the end. Wait, did it say there were four weapons? We've had Massamoon, we've had Excalibur, we've had something else. We've got seven Erogas left. Uh, and we got Dark Knight stuff. So I think that is not all the weapons then. So we must be at the end. Got to be.
Don't kill me. Just need to hold fire for a little while longer. I don't think I've got anybody who can use Excalibur. Ragnarok. Okay. He's not anti melee. That's a good sign. Let's get the haste up. Oh shit, we need AoE heals and I don't have any left. Right, we could take two of those before I Kiraga it. We've got three Kiragas left. All right. Let's just try and get through this. That's fine. That's fine. Gotta wait on the heel. I think we could survive. No! We should have had time! I, I don't need Emma now. Alright, this is our last day of We Heal. And we have to cast it. Oh no. Please don't cast it again. I would do so much for a turn order.
Can I get him to jump before he gets hit and heal him when he comes down? I need him to melee me. Melee me. Don't quake. Melee me. I see how it is. I see how it is. Playing that game, are we? I don't think we can res anybody. I think we have to kill him. <laughs> he still has reflect up. I would have thought it expired by now. Oh. <sighs> that one delayed heal. Maybe we get the magic staff first. <laughs> Oh, let's do Ragnarok, because we know what's happening there. We can kill it. We just need to make sure we're constantly topping the team up, that's all. Let's get the haste up now. Let's get magic damage in while we can. Doesn't start with Reflect. I don't think uh, Protect works against uh, Quake. Still hasn't got Reflect on. It's got to be coming any time now. No need Q Still hasn't got it on. Still no reflect. Okay. Uh, health's pretty good. Protect a little bit against the melee. Right, we need a Kiraga now in case he quakes again. Still hasn't got Reflect.
Your quake just hit me for over a thousand. What the hell? Dude. It should have hit me for like five to six hundred. Melee me. Melee me. Melee me. You know what? You're a piece of shit. You know that? You're a real piece of shit. Two left. We've got no high potions. Okay. Realistically, I only need to keep Alex alive. If I can get the Dark Knight up, good, but if not, it is what it is. He's still not got Reflect on, has he? The killing blow, baby. Worthy warriors, I will lend you my strength. My light is yours. Uh, we can't use it either, I think. <laughs> I don't know if a Dark Knight can use it. Can! Nice! Infused with the power of darkness. Alright, Ragnarok and Masamune on the Dark Knight. Very nice. Wait, can we go through here and sort of get a quick save? Is that a fucking shop? Piss off. You absolute bag of dicks game. You complete bag of dicks. Okay, well, we're happy. We made it. The Elder Staff. Oh, crikey. Ooh, he's got holy. <laughs> okay. I see. I understand. Okay. Okay, his melee is garbage. Yeah, maybe we'll get shell soon. mean i'm just gonna keep going round. oh i pressed the wrong button for fuck's sake dead
Did he dispel my haste? I'm going to keep the boys up. They're doing most of the damage. Emma will just have to wait. Keep the boys rolling. That's bad. Okay, the play here is... Are we out of Phoenix Downs? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, I was gonna say... That the play is to get all the, both of them up so he has less chance of holding the same person. We have to jump. That's wacky. Right, uh, let's see if these vendors have got anything. They're magic vendors. Oh, we got a rise. Okay, that's definitely worth. 60 grand. Unholy. Tornado. Flare. Death. Oh, buy all them. Uh, summons. We don't need those. Okay, let's restore. Sweet. All right. Uh, I mean, at least if anybody dies now, we should be good. No shell. I would have really liked shell, but it is what it is. Uh, let's let's throw a meteor at it. Two K. All right. From Lichtenstein. Hey, dude. Are you really holying my fucking healer? Okay, it didn't kill me. Poggers. Let's go with Flare. How do I have the level 8 spells before the level 7? We've gone wrong somewhere. Were we not supposed to be here yet? where the story told us to go. I don't think we did anything particularly goofy. Uh, this guy is... Unless this guy, like, does a quad holy, this guy's gigafuck now. Scylla, you're going down, lady. Yeah.
and obtain the titles of Ninja and Sage. Masters in the Arts of Weaponry and Magic. <sighs> I'm not re-rolling again, dude. <laughs> There's absolutely no fucking way I'm re-rolling again. That's not happening. <laughs> There's no freaking way. There's no way. It's been such a pain in the ass. It's not fun at all. Oh, you don't get the thingy staff? Do you get it? You get the other staff. What does it say? A staff that casts cure when used in battle. Okay. I'm not leveling my alts. Uh, petrification shrinking the wearer from turning into a toad. I still think I want the protect ring. It just feels better. Yeah, he's got ribbon and protect. So our white mage is as strong as they could be. We need to get the uh, different robes. The black mage robe and the white mage robe. They're on our ship, though. How the hell do we get out of here? I, I'm not walking back. Where does this take us, though? Can I not move my ship to here? I'm not going back through the maze. I want my ship back. I need to, like an Uber or something. Okay, well, we have to stop here for today. I've got stuff to do. I need to go and set up for the, the events and stuff before I'm on the couch and have my lunch. I'm going to have my chicken stuff. I'll pause us here, and the Crystal Tower will be, uh, it's Saturday tomorrow, so we haven't got our schedules for tomorrow, because we didn't expect the race to last this long, so I'll tweet out what's happening. Oh, never mind. Tentative schedule for tomorrow. Right, I'm on from 12 till 7 p.m., and yeah, that makes sense. We'll do drama time. I'm not going to have time today now. It's 2 o'clock. I'm on the couch in two hours, and I've got to go buy some stuff. Uh... All right. Let's do this as a game plan. When I have the Sunday schedule, uh, I assume I'm doing a long one on Sunday as well. I usually have longer shifts at the weekend because I'm not doing my normal stream. Uh, if I get a Sunday schedule, I could have a lie-in on Sunday. I would like one. One lie-in. Uh, then we'll stream in the morning and do drama time before I go on at 12. If not, we'll do drama time on Sunday or, or Monday. Something like that. All right. But I've only got tomorrow's tentative schedule. I would like uh, some sleep. Yeah, that would be nice. All right. I'm off. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right. Love you all. See you on the cast. We'll see some big prod today. See you in a bit.